Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a review on this haul I just got. I've been waiting a while for it. And yeah, let's get right into it. So right here I got from Brick Tactical, Clips Graphics, and Brick Mania. Um, I'll go smallest to largest. I got most from Brick Mania, and I got least from Brick Tactical. So I'll go over Brick Tactical first. First I got their business card, which is... Pretty cool to all their locations. Special license in CNC machining, injection molding, and all that. Then a uh, brick tactical sticker. Then on to the stuff I actually ordered. I didn't order a whole bunch of stuff from Brick Tactical because I was because um, I've never ordered from them before. And also I didn't really know what to expect, so I didn't really want to get that much. But I've heard some pretty good stuff from them. The first thing I got was this 12 gauge shorty. Pretty cool. Um, I got two of them. Then this minifigure right here I did not buy. I'm just using him as a model. Super shorty. They can also grab the pump grip. Pretty cool. Yeah, then another one. They also got two of these shotgun shell packs. Which were five dollars, and um, they're actually really cool. It comes with five different colors, you know, to differentiate all of your shots, like buckshot and all that. Really hard to come out. There you go. They're also really small, so I'll get them all in my hand. There's red, blue, yellow, green, and black. Then these can fit in minifigures' hands, just like so. So you can reload shotgun. They are dual colors. I'm not exactly sure if that is. Yeah, that's dual molding. They're dual molded, which is pretty cool. It's gonna got two of those. They came in these tiny bags, which are kind of annoying. Then the first thing I got, well, the first actual like minifigure piece I got, printed piece, was this slight, well, this navy blue sniper torso. Three main pouches, pretty cool, no back or arm printing. Yeah. And then their printing is really cool, like, you can't just scratch it off. I also got these printed legs, snow camo legs, which are pretty cool, 360 printing. I also got another one of these sniper bodies to create a minifigure. And I also got a really cool gas mask printed head, which is pretty cool. To make this minifigure, I'm not really sure what he is, maybe like a sass operator guy thing so yeah that's everything from brick tactical next i'm going to move on to eclipse graphics and the first two things i got are get them out is the first thing i got was this breacher head which is pretty much a head in a black balaclava thing with Visor, chin strap, it's like a helmet, pretty cool. Then I also, then my brother got this actually, which is a Pokemon Go phone with Pikachu on it. With, um, like I said, their printing is great. Um, you can actually read that on the phone. It says like something, it says like Pikachu something something, I can't really read it. Pikachu, then Pokeball, all that stuff. Really cool. My brother got that. Then moving on to my other stuff. So I can get them the bag. Um, most of the stuff came in bags like this size. So, yeah. I got these two U-clips to attach. Bayonets and flashlights and grenade launchers on all my stuff. Then I also got 
an FBR or French battle rifle to as a muzzle break. Really cool. I'd like to see this in overmolded. Put it in a figure's hand. Yeah, really cool. The other thing I got is a um. I think this is an M16 or an M4 with a red dot sight and then a suppressor. This thing will load. They won't focus, but you get the general layout of it. Kind of like a tactical version. So yeah, cool. Moving on. Um, I got this, which I thought were pretty cool, like these printed weapons. Put this up. I'm not really sure what exactly name this is. Exactly this name is. I just know it has like M4A1, so um camo of some sort, like an urban camo. But as you can see you get the basic idea is a camo. This was printed on a sure about the lighting. This was printed on a black M4A1 with um, all the gray and details were printed on, and that, the gray foregrip, then the stock, it's all printed on, actually, never mind, it's just printed on a gray gun, <laughs> never mind, so all the black is printed on, then in the back you can see, like, back print, the black printed on the stock, which compared to my fingernail, ginormous which it is and it's just amazing then if I get next one out it's a llama air m16 my brother wanted it so I got it for him so thing will come out um so yeah right here it has a um, confetti with an eyeball at the tip, that red going into that, or the pink going into the dark blue. This is printed on like a navy blue rifle. So yeah, really cool. Great printing. Yeah. Moving on, the next two things I got were weapon packs. First one I'm going to go over is the modern assault pack. These are all the, what is it, comes with, uh, M4 SBR, NATO Battle Rifle, ARC, PSR, AK, AK Grenade Launcher, Magnum, M1911, MCH, M249 Saw, Heavy Assault Carbine, M16 with a ACOG and Grenade Launcher, M16, Grenade Launcher, Version 2, Combat SMG, and AUG Battle Rifle. Which is really cool, or ABR. Put it out. The card is really cool. If I can get it out. So yeah, then that's the front. It says Modern Combat Assault, and it has some people. Really cool. I'm just gonna dump all this out. Some of these are buildable weapons. So yeah. Wait a minute. Set that one off to the side. First one is the HAC, which is a heavy assault carbine. Pretty much a heavy scar. Really cool. Put it on the minifigure. Yeah. Next is the AK. It's the version 1 AK. Yeah, just AK, not much detail on the minifigure. Yeah. I'm not going to do for the minifigure for all of these. So right, right here we have the ABR or AUG 
battle rifle. Which has foregrip, laser, then a scope, then yeah. Really cool. Right here we have what's this called? PSR, which is a sniper. Pretty cool. They have the NATO BR or battle rifle. Really cool. So we have the ARC. Next we have the M16 A AGL, which stands for ACOG grenade launcher. Oh, M16. Next one's a buildable weapon. It's the grenade launcher version 2 with the attachable drum which can fold out. Which is really cool. Back in. Really cool. Next we have the combat SMG or MP5. What's really cool is that this front part right here actually has some like graining to it, like some like uh how should I explain this? Like material on it, I guess. Next thing we have is the another buildable weapon which is the M two four nine saw. Can put an attachment point right there for like mounted. Then as you can see on the back Purging handle, grip, dock, all that. Then the detachable box mag with the belt chain. So yeah. Next we have um, AK with grenade launcher. What's your normal AK with a grenade launcher? Pretty cool. Magnum. Revolver thing. MCH, which is like the modern helmet and tan. Even though on the card it does look pretty gold. Strange. So, yeah. Then, the M4 SBR Honey Badger. So, yeah. Now, what's weird is that they didn't give me an M1911. Instead, they gave me a UCS pistol, which isn't on there. I think that was a mistake. Or something, but yeah. Really cool to get a UCS. Yeah, just set all of this side. So this over here. Next we're going to go over the modern tactical pack. So, yeah. On the back it shows what it comes with, which is a .44 RMR, AKS-74U, Combat PDW, M4 TAC, HCSR, Barrett 50 Cal, Spy Carbine, XMP Submachine Gun, MCH, Black Version, M47 Tactical, Pump Shotgun, M16 DBR, or Burbature, because it has a shotgun underneath, M9, M1, 11 M110, I think. M249 Para, which is a para saw. FMG, XVR Vector, a smoke grenade, I think. I think that's what that is. L8541, which is a French, I mean, British rifle. And UCS. And if I open this up, this thing will come out. Ready to show the back, not the front. It's kind of like a tactical version. Going before, so yeah, really fun to get. Then if I 
sample these out. First, I'm going to go over the what is this? The M47 tactical, which is tactical shotgun. Oh, scope. Very different. Move some of this stuff away. Next, we have the XMP. Cool. Has like a flashlight and then a hold uh, grip. Really cool. Spy carbine, which is like the normal like spy pistol with um, scope, long barrel, suppressor, stock. Strange. So, yeah. Here we have a RMR, which is like a futuristic-esque gunmetal gray revolver with a red dot, or not a red dot, a holographic reflex on top. And for tack, for grip, on the barrel or suppressor, whatever you want that to be. Light laser combo, magnifier, holographic, all that. UCS, it's already shown. Combat PW, which is kind of like a hit. It's kind of like a P90. X, what is this? XVR or vector. One bit barrel, holographic. FMG9, which is kind of the reason I bought this, because I really like the FMG9, the light laser combo, and then, yeah, kind of like a briefcase weapon, the, what is this, L8541 with a scope, bullpup, British, AKS-74U, pretty much a small AK-47, Cool. M16 DVR or door breacher. Which pretty much an M16 with shotgun underneath. M9. Pretty cool. Smoke or yeah, smoke. No, it's not a flashbang, but smoke grenade. 50 cal, uh, what is this? HCSR, it's pretty much bare at 50 cal. M110 or M110 suppressed sniper thing. Pretty cool. Just set everything aside, make more. Room. Um, next we have MCH helmet, once again, modern helmet, just in black. Then this is the saw para, it's a buildable gun, just like the saw before, but it has shorter barrel, scope, skeleton stock, yeah. So yeah, that's the modern tactical pack. Moving on to Brick Mania, which is definitely the largest one I got anything from. So yeah, let's move on to that. First, I'm going to go over some of the stuff I got. Just the randoms I bought and freebies. Surprisingly, the only store that I got freebies from, but yeah. First freebie I got was a clear, transparent, blue halo. Weapon. SMG thing, kind of play Halo, so I'm not really that sure. Clear ARC. I really like clear guns, they look like ice or something like that. Then, this machete cleaver thing, which is really cool. And blue. Move on to the stuff that I bought. Spy pistol. Modern gas mask, head in black. 
think this is the PCV Commando vest. I thought it was really cool with the knife and the pistol. Then, I forget what this is called. This is like a tactical helmet. It's like laser or something on the side. and Yeah, really cool. First Lieutenant Rank M1 Steel Pot. Okay, 74SU in gunmetal. Need a battle rifle. This like quad night vision thing. They only had it in um tan. I wanted to get it in black, but it's out of stock. Mini Uzi. By the way, this can fit in briefcases. Weapon sling for minifigures. Pretty sure this is called the combat shotgun. And then FMG9. Then other thing you got. So I got two of these Thompsons. Buildable weapons with a detachable drum mag. Just on like that. Then minifigures can hold on to it and also the grip up front. Really cool. See, so I got two of those. Going on to the minifigures. I got two minifigures. The first one I got was U.S. Infantry. Infantry. Which just has like a trench coat on. Um, rank, um, I think that's, well, that's not Lieutenant, I think that's, I forget what that is. Um, comment down below what you think it is, and it is on puff printing, which is really cool, so, like, you can, like, go over it and stuff. On the back, it has their logo, and the leg, then Lando, probably the person that designed it. Then, boots, leg printing, full 360 degree printing, arm printing, normal face. Then I also got an American Airborne Trooper. I think it's the. I forget which one it is. I forget which one it is, but this one. No leg printing. Some front and back printing. Then a the Eagle. It says Airborne on the patch. Straps. Okay, those were the mini figures. Moving on to these packs that I got. I got four of them. I got the Russian weapons pack, Battle Royal pack, Zombie Defense pack, and Camo Pack B. I went to go over Camo Pack Bravo first, or Camo Pack B Bravo. On the back there is four of them. I already have Delta, so I decided to get Bravo. Yeah. These, these weapons were all, um, mix-fused, like, at the, like, um, process, at the <laughs> process, <laughs> I forget what it's called, the, yeah, the process where they make these, the molding process, yeah, they molded two colors, with a PC, LCV saw, PCV signal, M16 ACOG and grenade launcher, XMP, MP40, Brody helmet, M9, M1911, Grenade launcher and then M4 SBR. Like I said before, all these will I didn't say this, but all these are random colored, so like there's no guarantee that you'll get like the same one twice. First one up, M9. Which I kinda like with like the um it like that blue or greenish up the front, at the front, then pin back. So yeah. We have the PCV, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, PCV signal, which is two mags and then a uh, radio. LCV saw. Four, well, two big pouches, two smaller pouches, then two tiny pack pouches. MP40. I really like the blending on this one. 
Brody, which I thought that the helmets were really nicely done. M16 AGL. This is more of like a tan weapon on this side, but once you turn it over to the other side, it has like all sorts of green and blue on it. This M4 SBR. Yeah, M4 SBR. This side's more tan. This side's more like camo ish. I guess it's more tan in the middle than blue up here. So yeah. 1911. The grip's kind of like green while it's tan. So yeah. XMP. Green at the barrel, then come tan, kind of like swirlish, I guess. Then, foldable grenade launcher. Swing out drum. I already showed this. The back. The more at the grip, it's more of like blue color. So, yeah. That's come camel pack. Bravo! Moving on to the next pack. I'll go over the zombie defense pack next. There you go. Um. So yeah. Oops. Drop something. I'll get that. Front zombie defense pack. Zombie head. Back shows you what it's coming with. Comes with M21, M1 carbine, .44 rad I8. Which looks like the, um, uh, the point forty four this thing, I forget what it's called. M4 Tech, M16, L8541, Trench Mace, Cricket Back at Mach Bat, Machete, and then a Trench Knife, ARC, HAC, XMP, Combat SMG, SABR Shotgun, M9, M903 Springfield, Vector L eight five A one. All right, so go in the pack. I'll go over melee first. Well, first I'm gonna go over this citizen's brick head that came with, which is really cool. Could you buy citizen brick? First thing is the. M21 sniper. Oh wait, sorry, I said I was going over melee first. But go to this first. Put it on the sniper. Then the machete. Cricket back it, which is back. You know, this thing. Cricket bat. Oh, I keep on saying back it. Yeah, that thing. Then a uh, trench mace. Really cool weapon. I already have a couple of these. Trench knife, which is really cool. Kind of like. Then going over pistols. M9. Terry showed. Point forty four rad I eight, which, like I said before, it I think it's identical. Yeah, I think they're the same. I just think that one's like an older version. They're both in. Um, gunmetal gray. So yeah. What is this? L eight five four A A one L eight five A one. Show this gunmetal this time. M nine O three Springfield. I'm pretty sure this was in a Vietnam sniper rifle. Pretty cool. ARC. M1, A1, M, no, just M1 carbine in gunmetal, which is strange. I, was, I have one of these in brown. M16. Alright, should that. Combat SMG, or is that what it's called? Yeah, combat SMG. Alright, should that. Gunmetal, XMP. H A C for the assault carbine, heavy scar, the 
baseball graphic. And for tack with a sin barrel, foregrip, laser sight combo. Uh, what is this? The that thing. Then red dot. The yeah, that thing. We show that in gun middle. Then vector or X V R with the elongated barrel, and then red dot. Yeah. That is the uh, gun defense pack. This is the 2018 version. Moving on to the Russian battle pack. I've been excited for this one. Russian pack V2. I open this. This one's kind of hard to open. There we go. Front has the uh, hammer inside. Or not inside. Sickle, I'm pretty sure that's. I'm not sure what that is. Right on the back, it shows everything that it comes with. It comes with an AKM, AK 74SU, RPG 7, AK APOC, AK 12, RPD, AKSV, DP 28, AK, Moisin Ganea, AK GL, TT 33, Ushanka, Ushanka, I'm pretty sure that's it, SSH 40, PPSH V2, then AK. I'm just going to... First I'm going to go over the helmets. First off is the Ushanka, which is kind of like what some what lots of Germans wear. It's the um cold weather hat. So yeah. Next up is the SSH40, it's the World War II helmet. RPG seven. Really cool. AK twelve, which I was excited for. As you can see, it's like it has a rail and like a scope on top. Really cool. Is this the AKM? Yes, the AKM. I think this is variant V two or V three. AK APOC. AKSV or Dragonov. Is this DP28? If I can get this. It's a World War II Russian LMG. If it'll focus. You can see the trigger, the detachable pan mag, the iron sights, all that. Then, next one's a buildable gun. It's the PPSH-40 with a touchable drum mag. Pretty cool. Moisey Gunnett, World War II. Sniper rifle, so is the PPSH-40. SMG. AK-74. V1, I already showed this. AK GL or grenade launcher. TT33, TT33, yeah, yeah, TT33. Reminds me of the 1911. RPD, or what is this? The RPD, yeah, buildable gun. I already have one of these. But yeah, it's really cool. Buildable gun, detachable circle drum mag thing with. Um, belt fitting into it. Yeah, you can get this in open mode, same with the AK. Then, AK-74, AKS-74U. That's the Russian weapons pack. Moving on to the final weapons pack, finally, is the Battle Royale weapons pack, which has a whole lot of weapons. It comes with the NATO tack, which... I'm pretty sure it is exclusive to this. I'm not sure if you can buy it separately. I know it doesn't come with any other packs. But the MGL, M24OB, aka APOC, Magnum, HCSR, ABR, AKSV, M16, M4 TAC, M4 SBR, XVR, APOC SMG, Spy Pistol, ACS, or Auto Shotgun, XMP, UCS, Auto 9, HAC, RPG 7. 
Yeah, let's get this right out. This is obviously kind of like reminiscent of Fortnite. I think it was based off of Fortnite, especially with the front. That's kind of like the Fortnite front with like Ramirez up top and another guy. So, yeah. Dump this out. First off, we have the Magnum charity show. Pretty cool. UCS I showed Auto Nine Spy Pistol. I showed that ABR Og Battle Rifle from Four Tac. Kind of rushing through the ones I've already shown. RPG-7. I don't want this video to be too long. XMP. AKA Pac. Next one's Buildable. Grenade Launcher. XVR Vector. Next one's buildable. Uh, what is this one? I forget what it is. is this the like, M4 M24 OB. Is that B? Yeah, it's B. It's a buildable gun. There's. Which it comes with a detachable box mag. Just come off. And also a black attachment piece so you can put it on as a turret or whatever. AKSV or Dragonov. HAC, heavy scar. HCSR, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, HCSR. Barrett 50. Um ECS which is auto shotgun with a detachable drum mag. Really cool. AKA Pac. Where's this? The A. No, it's the M4. Where is it? M4 SBR. So I showed this. M16. Third one. Then this is the NATO battle rifle attack version with a grip, light laser combo, smaller barrel, um, rail, then a holographic, then with no handle, if I show it side by side with the other one, you can see it is much longer, oh yeah, and this one also has a skeletonized stock, so yeah. That was everything I have. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all have a great day. Thank you.